Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, we are back and I am Simon. I am still Ellie. Yes, and we are Nerd Safari. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And it's nearly Halloween, spooky season, and there's a lot of really good scary movies dropping. And amongst them is a trailer for something I was not expecting at all. Now, we, back in the day, were big fans of the Scream franchise, the 200 movies that they made with Courtney Cox and or that whole bunch. But I didn't know that they were going to be doing something else. It must be more than 20 years since the first movie. However, I'm kind of blown away that a lot of the original cast are returning for a movie which peculiarly comes out in January 2022, which I don't know why you would set a spooky movie to come out in January. Maybe just because of COVID and like everything else, it was delayed. But we're gonna go ahead right now, check out the trailer for the new Scream movie and see how it stacks up against our memories of the past. If you wanna see what we think about it, then hang around until the end. But for now, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh no. This isn't funny, Amber. Would you like to play a game, Tara? <laughs> Why would you open the door? Doors unlocked. All doors locked. Doors unlocked. Oh no. Three attacks so no far. No way. Do you have a gun? I'm Sydney Prescott. Of course I have a gun. Something about this one just feels different. Samantha? I'm, I know who you are. I've been through this a lot. This is your life now, which means that whoever this is is going to keep coming for you. You ready? For this? <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, man. The gangs are the rules to surviving. The attacks were all on people related to the original killers. Whatever his link is to our past, it's pulled us all back here. And I won't sleep until he's in the ground. Hello, Sydney. Scream is apparently coming back. What did you make of the trailer? I'm too scared already. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, to me, Scream actually always was one of the few movies that could successfully blend the kind of slasher horror genre with teen comedy and, and actually make it cool as well. Like, and, and then they, they made those kind of scary movie spinoffs and they, they were okay, like those spoofs of it. Um, but yeah, to me, the Scream movies and probably the I Know What You Did Last Summer and maybe the Final Destination movie, like they were some of the few movies that actually walked that line and did it right. So it was just scary enough, just enough murders, just enough mm. blood, but also kind of family friendly for older kids and, you know, just felt like you were having a good time. I think the other thing that Scream did well in, um, and I think before other movies tended to do it, was that it was quite a knowing stance that the movie took. Like, it knew it was a horror movie, and the characters knew they were in a horror movie, yes. so they would reference it. And we hadn't seen that before, and I think at the time it was quite groundbreaking. I think a lot of people have repeated it now, but I kind of like that they're still kind of going back to that for this one. Yeah, they certainly seem to be, don't they? And it, like, even the trailer seemed to follow that same formula of there's somebody you don't know about in a house, and she makes a mistake and gets 
murdered, and then you meet the real characters. The thing I did like, though, was both the returning cast, and it was it was awesome to see the returning cast, actually. And, you know, they all seem to be doing pretty well. Like, none of them <laughs> seem to have aged that much that they couldn't be in this. But, yeah, seeing the returning cast coming back was awesome. But then you had a lot of new cast members. And to me, those new cast members are fodder for the stabbing. Like, that's... Which tells me that there's probably going to be a lot of murders in the new Scream. And it kind of has to be in order to make it scary and watchable. So, yeah, I'm actually really excited to see this one. I, I guess what I hope they don't try to do is kind of reboot Scream and then hand the franchise over to these new characters and the old ones get killed off or something like I could do one more Scream movie that would probably be enough for me yeah. like I, I wouldn't want to see another trilogy or something come out of this with a whole new group of kids I am concerned with the quality of the kids the like the actors <laughs> playing the kids are of a high enough quality that I think there is a risk of them doing this as a whole new franchise reboot and us getting a whole new 500 screen movies. Yeah, and I, I kind of feel like if they want to make another trilogy or quadrilogy or whatever of slasher movies, then fine. Like, you know, knock themselves out, you know, find some great young actors and go do that. Don't make it scream. So yeah, like I, I don't know. I don't feel the need for another four scream movies, but I could see another one scream movie being a really, really good time. Mm. Will we want to watch it in the middle of January? Probably, because yeah. what else is there to do in the middle of January? Your birthday. My birthday. <laughs> Maybe this is the birthday movie where you no. go, yes. No. Where you can hide behind a giant popcorn. No, don't let me see scary movies on my birthday. Fine, we'll go see uh, something with Will Ferrell. <laughs> or Adam Sandler. Yeah, that guy. But anyway, uh, if if you're excited about the new Scream movie, let us know, because to us it looks pretty damn good, I would say. Uh, however, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today, but we will try to do this. Every day. Every day. We will do our best, as long as no more natural disasters hit us. So we will see you as soon as we possibly can, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, spooky nerds. Bye. <laughs>